So I see you partnered with Verizon. Um, so can you tell us uh, why did you partner with Verizon and what is the partnership all about? Well, first of all, we're a nonprofit organization. We've got about two dozen companies, uh, including Verizon, that are members of ours. We're working to make the online world safer for kids and their families. And we've created something called the Seven Steps to Good Digital Parenting that Verizon supports. We're working with him in this capacity, sending him all around the country um, to talk about all of the steps uh, to be um, you know, a, a good digital guide for your children. Very casual, ask questions. A lot of great questions came up yesterday, so just jump in and then with that, do an alternative. Well, thank you very much. Something that we particularly like is what Verizon has done with Smart Family. I'm actually calling it Parental Controls 2.0. It's very intuitive. Um, what I like about it, it is also facilitates a discussion that you can have with your kids about what's acceptable or not in your family. Um, but my all-time favorite part of it is the pause the internet button. And I wish we had it when my daughter, who's now 22, was a teenager, because then we might have actually got her to the dining room table on time, or maybe have got her to stop doing what she was doing so she could do her homework or bed or whatever else. The other thing I like, by the way, is the where location-based tracking is going. Not that I think we should snoop on our kids, but it is the number one concern that parents have, is where is my child? Um, and actually, the, uh, the smart family device has it, the Gizmo Watch. It means that you don't have to constantly text your kids. If you just know where they are, then that frees up the concern. The final P is what we call good digital parenting. So we try to condense everything we've learned from what the companies were doing, what government regulations were, to give what we call the seven steps to good digital parenting, um, to boil it all down into something you can put on the, on the front of your fridge or you know, next to your computer at home. And there's some pretty obvious ones, like talk with your kids. Mind you, that's easier said than done. A lot of parents feel quite intimidated by the technology. They feel like their kids are far ahead of them when it comes to Fortnite or, you know, Exactly. We give tips and tools and resources and videos to try and empower parents to confidently navigate the web with their kids. So we say, look, you can get a handle on this. You're not going to know everything. Something I said yesterday in Miami is there are 5,000 new apps uploaded to the App Store every day, which is a staggering number. 5,000 worldwide. I can't even keep up to date with even, well if you think about it, if one of those apps per day takes off, that's 365 you're going to have to get up to speed. So, so create limits, create rules. I think for parents, you know, um, set down the rules, set down the rules of the house with your kid, maybe even before you give them their first phone or their first tablet. And if they break the rules, take that phone away. You've bought it. You pay in the monthlies, so it's your phone. They just happen to have the privilege of having it for the time being. Put it in a timeout for 24 hours. That'll get their attention. There it is. It's Stephen Balcom from Fosse, hanging out with Verizon and Tallboy. Did you like the video? That's right. Did you like it? Hit that like button. Think Subscribe. big. Think tall. And share it. Think tall boy. Yay! Tall boy. Tall boy.